Oh my gosh. This is everything that I envisioned in my head when I was trying to figure out what video I wanted to film. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video trying out a couple of things that I recently picked up, but I also didn't want to do a full face of new stuff. So I also am going to be reusing some things that I already have. I honestly was inspired by one product launch and one product launch only. However, I have been shopping a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but every time Time, the holidays roll around and I'm supposed to be looking for gifts for other people I always find something for myself so that's kind of what a lot of these things are and the most recent purchase that I made makeup wise were these right here you guys bodyography launched four new colors in their glitter pigments and they literally just came to my house today originally I was going to save them and open them on Christmas but I just I couldn't help it I couldn't wait I have been so excited about these since I saw them on Instagram so basically I kind of just wanted to film this video to try those out but also if you guys didn't see my last video I recently went to Target and picked up a bunch of pixie beauty I actually did a full face of pixie products and I will have that video linked down below I'm shocked at how many things I loved and that I'm super excited about. While I was at Target, I also picked up a couple things from the brand Winky Lux. So I'm going to be trying that as well. Um, one of the things that is new to me, but I haven't used it on camera yet, is this right here from the brand Say. I'm really excited to use this on camera. I've used it a couple times and I really do enjoy it. And then also I have a few things that Kosas actually sent me. So Kosas is a clean beauty brand that I recently have been really, really into. I mean, I've tried their products before, but they sent me a really nice box of a couple more of their products for me to try. You guys will see these wet lip oil glosses. The packaging is to die for. So I don't know, I just kind of like pieced together all those things and I'm really excited to try everything out. So we're just gonna get right into it. I do need to clip my hair back before starting. Also, you guys, I wanted to let you know as far as my makeup bags go, I feel like a lot of you probably know, but just in case you don't, let me show you. My husband and I have our own makeup bag brand. We just launched a new color. This is our pink bag. This is the classic bag collection, if you were wondering. And then we also have our original gray. So these are the two colors that we have so far. But I know how many of you guys have been saying that you are either asking for this for Christmas or you're wanting to gift it to family and friends and I wanted to just let you know that if you are wanting to receive your bags by Christmas you want to make sure to order it by December 14th so just wanted to give you guys a little heads up in case you are in the middle of Christmas shopping just so that you get everything in time. Okay, I'm really excited about today's makeup look. I just wanna do something fresh. I feel like doing something a little bit wintry, honestly, super inspired by these new bodyography pigments. So for complexion, I wanna keep it pretty fresh as well. I'm gonna start off with this right here, the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. It's kind of funny. I've actually owned this for a while now and I tried it out a few times. It didn't honestly like floor me upon first trying it out. It was nice. I really like it, but for some reason it didn't stick into my routine. And then I don't know what happened, but recently I picked it up once like a couple of weeks ago and all of a sudden I'm really enjoying it. So that's what I'm gonna be using all over the face today. I did wanna try another primer that I don't think I've ever tried before. If I have, I don't remember what I think about it, but I felt like it would go with the vibe that I'm looking for today. This is from NYX, it's the High Glass Face Primer. I wanted to just apply this basically on the high points of the face. So I'm gonna apply a bit of this on the back of the hand. Here it is right here, it's kind of a champagne with a peachy undertone. I'm interested to see how this looks when it's applied. So I'm just gonna take that on a brush and I'm going to start just applying it to the high points of the face only. So basically in like a C shape here, I'm also gonna put some down the center of the nose. We'll do some right above the brows. So basically where I normally apply highlighter at the end of my routine, that's where I'm going to apply this product. And I'm gonna put it on the Cupid's bow and on the chin as well. Oh, I forgot to tell you, ever since trying out this collagen lip gloss from Pixie in my other video, Again, if you missed it, I'll have it linked down below. Um, I can't stop wearing it. I applied it right before filming, so that's what's on my lips, and I just love the formula and the texture. Now, I've only worn it for like three days now, so I don't know the long-term hydration effects yet, but just know that I really enjoy it, and I was like excited to put it on today. 
Okay, so that primer definitely gave a bit of a glow. It's not anything too crazy, which I like. We're gonna move on to foundation. So I'm gonna be wearing this Say Slip Cover Broad Spectrum Tinted Moisturizer. I like how this has zinc as the sunscreen in it. You guys probably already know this, but I'll repeat myself again. I personally love products that have a physical sunscreen just for my acne prone skin. Sorry, this is making noise. I'm trying to pump it out on the back of my hand. Um, if you're wondering, I bought mine in the shade two. I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I just used for that primer. And I'm gonna start to just apply this all over the skin. So I've worn this before, but honestly it's been a couple of weeks because I've been trying a couple of other complexion products since I bought this. So I don't really remember how it applies or the coverage or anything. So that's kind of why I wanted to wear it again in a video. I remember liking it though. I remember really enjoying it. I just wanted to do something today where I have more of like a fresh complexion look. I'm just grabbing a little bit more of that foundation with a little bit more of like a glittery eye, if that makes sense. This is a pretty new brand and I'm actually wanting to try more of their products. I just really like the vibe of this brand and I think a lot of their things kind of look like they would fit my everyday aesthetic. So I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued by it. If you guys have tried this brand and you've tried anything, like if you've tried this, I wanna know what you guys think or if you've tried anything else, I would also love to know so that I know what I should try next. But so far so good. So as you'll see, like this obviously is a tinted moisturizer, so it's not gonna give me full, full coverage. I like how it toned down my redness though. And that's kind of all I was looking for because I'm gonna use a concealer that I just discovered recently, also from Pixi actually, that I really, really have been liking over the past couple of days since discovering it. And I just want that concealer to kind of give a little bit more of that flawless effect so that I can keep certain areas on my skin breathing and looking lightweight. So let's move into concealer. This is the concealer that I'm talking about. It's the Pixi Pat Away Concealing Base and I bought mine in the shade Cream. You guys, like I seriously love this and if you didn't see my video, then you wouldn't have seen this massive applicator that it comes with, which I actually really, really like as well. So I'm just gonna use this to spread out the concealer. So since I have a little bit more discoloration today, I am gonna go a little heavier with the concealer, just layering it over top of that tinted moisturizer to give myself that extra coverage because even though I use a tinted moisturizer, I do want to look put together still and I wanna feel confident with my skin in the state that it's in. So I'm applying a little bit more than I normally would if I were to have had um, a foundation that gave me more coverage, but here we go. I'm just continuing to spread that all over the skin. And then I'm going to go ahead and just go straight into my sponge and press that in all over the complexion. I'm just gonna add a bit more of that concealer onto my blemishes just to make sure they're nice and concealed. And then again, I'm just gonna gently kind of press that into the skin with my sponge. All right, to set the face, I'm gonna use a translucent powder and then I actually, I'm gonna use a Winky Lux powder that I picked up, but I'm gonna do that later in the routine. So for my loose powder, I wanted to use this right here. This is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I have been obsessed with this all over again recently. It's like the perfect texture. It's not too heavy, but it's also not too light to where it moves around. But I'm just gonna use that to set the concealer. I'm also just gonna take what's left on the brush and run that through the brows, just so that my brow pencil adheres a little better. For my brow pencil, I'm gonna use the Pixi Natural Brow Duo again, but of course I need to brush up my brows with a spoolie, so I'm gonna use another pencil for that. I'm just gonna fill the brows in with this. Okay, so brows are done for now. I wanted to use my Nabla Cupid's Arrow Full Color Stilo. This is a little like eyeshadow crayon pen, basically. It's funny because I normally don't use products like this, but after that one video, there's a video, I think it was a full face of nothing new, my most recent one, where I used these and I wanted to use another color again in this video because I really loved how it turned out. So I'm gonna just start to create a little bit of definition in the crease and along this outer edge. Um, this is the shade number one, Arrow, and I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and start to blend that out just to create a little bit of definition in the crease and along the edge. Last time I used like the berry color, so it was a little bit more tedious as far as making sure I got the shape right, but this one's much more natural. So I'm not as nervous about getting things perfect. I'm just running that same color on the lower lash line and buffing it out with that same brush. 
I'm gonna layer a little bit more in the crease because I want more definition there. So I'm just gonna build that up right there in the crease. Okay, let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye. Oh, also you guys, before I forget, so every year, well, starting last year, I kind of started this tradition. If you're not following me over on Instagram, you definitely should be because I did this last year and this year I'm doing it again. So it's my not so secret Santa giveaway over on Instagram. So every day at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will post a link to a Google form and you can enter to win a giveaway. This giveaway is like a little bit different than my usual giveaways in the sense that I don't pick the products. So basically you submit your beauty wishlist item and then there's a winner every single day for the first 12 days of December. So it's still happening right now if you guys weren't aware. Be sure you're following me on Instagram so that you can enter to win your beauty wishlist item if you want to participate. So I'll have my Instagram link down below. But honestly, it's been so fun to do again. I love to see your wishlist items and it's just a fun way for me to give back just knowing that I'm giving you guys something that you actually want, if that makes sense. So yeah, I wanted to make sure to mention that on YouTube because I know some people here on YouTube might not really follow me on Instagram or might not really keep up with my stories. So I just wanted to make sure you all knew about it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a shade of these Bodyography glitter pigments. I definitely feel like I'm either going to do the blue or the purple. Honestly, we should do the blue. It's been a while since I've done a blue anything, I feel like. Look how stunning this is. This is called Blue Morpho, and I am going to take a flat brush. I normally like to apply this with my fingertips, but my nails are so long right now that I can't dip into the pan, so we're just gonna have to make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush though, and then I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, and I'm gonna spritz the brush with this, just to make sure I get the most pigment payoff possible. Okay, let's go ahead and apply this to the lid. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. So I'm wanting this all over the eyelid. So I'm starting at the base and just basically kind of filling in the areas where I didn't fill in with the pencil we were applying earlier. But then I am gonna kind of feather the brush upward into the crease a little bit so that it's not too harsh. Like I want it to blend together a tiny bit, but I still want a little bit of that structure we created. Wow, that's really pretty. We're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna take a bit of that same color and I'm gonna dampen the brush again. And I'm just gonna run that across the inner two thirds of the lower lash line. Okay, so now that we have the blue all over, I kinda wanna put another color on top and I'm thinking I'll use the purple. This is called Aura Glow. Look how gorgeous this is. I'm so excited. I mean, this is basically me in a bodyography pigment. I'm gonna take that on the same brush and I'm gonna focus this one in the very center of the top lid. I'm also gonna take what's left and just apply it to the center of the lower lash line. I'm gonna take my powder brush and just try to sweep away any fallout underneath the eyes. And then I do wanna use this really cool shade. This is called Spirit Quartz and it's a really beautiful reflective white, but when you swatch it, it has almost like a pink reflect. So I wanted to put this in the inner corner. I'm gonna take this on a smaller brush and just apply that to the very inner corner of the eye. Yeah, it kind of has like a peachy reflect. There's a little bit of gold and orange to it, but also a pink as well. It's a really unique color. I like it a lot. Okay, so I really like how that looks. I feel like it's not quite complete though without mascara. So another brand that I purchased from that I didn't mention in the beginning of the video is Jones Road. So Jones Road is Bobbi Brown's new makeup line. And I am such a huge fan of Bobbi Brown. That's literally how I learned how to do makeup was by reading her books. So I'm excited to see that she's come out with a new brand after leaving Bobbi Brown Cosmetics a few years ago. Um, but I wanted to try out the mascara from her brand. I bought a few things, um, but this is what I wanted to try in today's video. So let's see how this wears. I really like the brush on this actually. Whoops, I got a little bit on my eyelid, but that's okay, I'll just let it dry. Okay, this is building up way better than I anticipated. Wow, okay, look at the wand. It's got a nice curve to it and it's really fluffy. I'm going to apply it to the lower lashes as well. And then the other eye. 
Okay, so that actually surprised me. I really like how that applied. I'm gonna wait for it to dry to wipe off the mascara marks on the eyelid, but I feel like it's very, very nice. It kind of gave my lashes the texture that I personally look for in a mascara. I'm not gonna do a full on wear test today, but I will leave a note about this, letting you know if it smudges or flakes on me throughout the rest of the night, but I really like how it looks. All right, we're gonna go into the Winky Lux Bronzer. So this is, again, something that I picked up at Target when I was there. Um, this is their coffee bronzer in the shade Latte. And apparently it smells like coffee. It definitely does. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, I'm gonna take this on a brush. First of all, here's the shade. They did have a few different shades. I think this is the lightest one in their range. I can't quite remember, but I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna start by applying this on the cheeks a little bit, just to start to warm things up a little bit. Also applying it to the forehead. So far, I'm already liking the shade on me. I feel like the formula is also blending out nicely. But yeah, the shade doesn't seem like it's too overpowering for my skin tone, which is nice because I can layer it up and it won't look overdone. So after applying it with the brush, I'm just taking my sponge and kind of pressing around the edges to make sure there's no harsh lines. I'm just trying to dust off the mascara marks before I forget. I think that worked pretty well. Okay, I also wanted to try the Winky Lux Diamond Powder. I picked up mine in the shade Light. This is interesting, it's supposed to have genuine crushed diamonds in it. Really? So here's what it looks like on the inside. It does have a little powder puff in here, but I'm just gonna use brush. I'm gonna take this powder and I'm gonna use it in the T-zone a little bit, just to kind of add a little bit more brightness and coverage under the eyes and down the nose like this. Also on the chin around the nose and in the middle of the forehead, just to kind of brighten that up a little. Hmm, I don't know if it's just the combination of what I used, but it kind of looks like it's sitting on top of the skin, which is not ideal. But I'm just gonna use my sponge to try to kind of press over it to melt it into the skin a little bit more. I'm also gonna take a little bit and just use that to clean up underneath the bronzer on the sides of my face. Okay, I really wanted to use my Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. This is such a bright pink blush, but for looks like this, I feel like it's perfect. So I'm just gonna dip a brush into this and I'm just gonna kind of smile and start to place that on the apples of the cheeks. I am going to apply a little higher than usual just to kind of create that youthful effect. This blush is so great layered on top of any other blush just to kind of give a little bit of brightness, but I also love it for looks like this by itself because I feel like it creates a gorgeous flushed look that's not too intense, even though it kind of seems intense. It's definitely a statement blush, like it's gonna be obvious when you wear it, but it's way more wearable than you think when you see it in the pan, if that makes sense. I love this stuff. All right, I'm gonna take my Benefit Dandelion Twinkle Highlighter. I'm just gonna take my highlighting brush and dip it into this. It says a little bit of like a pinky undertone, which is why I chose it. I felt like it would complement the blush and it's not too intense. It doesn't have very much glitter in it. It's just basically a sheen, like a pure sheen, which is so pretty. So I thought it would be nice with this. I'm just applying it basically everywhere we applied the primer in the very beginning. So high points of the face, so down the center of the nose, Cupid's bow a little on the chin, and mostly kind of in a C shape right here around the brow. Goodness gracious, that's beautiful. And layered on top of that blush, I think it's so fresh and nice. I'm really excited about that. Wow, I've never worn that combo before, like layered that on top of that blush, and I really, really like it. Um, usually I like to take my sponge, almost dropped it, but I caught it, and I just press the highlight into the skin to kind of just make sure that there's no powdery finish and it looks as skin-like as possible. Okay, let's move on to lips. And I wanna do, let's see. I think I wanna use this lip liner. This is my NYX Nude Suede Shoes lip liner. I'm just gonna line and fill in the lips with this. All right, so lip liner is on. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all of these Kosas Wet Lip Oil Glosses and we will choose a shade. The packaging is to die for on these. Look at this. Look at the lid, I think it's so cute. So this is the shade Dip. Let me just open them all up first before I read them off to you. Ooh, that one's pretty, hold on. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh, the packaging is just to die for. So I definitely feel like, wow, these two colors are so fun. 
they probably don't match my eye look. Um, but if you're wondering, this orangey red shade is called Jaws. And then this red burgundy kind of color, this is so pretty, like it's a berry, it's called fruit juice. I'm actually really excited to try that. I feel like a shade like this would be so pretty with a natural eye look and fresh skin and just this on the lips. But I'm trying to find one that matches this look. So one of these three, definitely. Hmm. I don't know why, but I kind of want to try Jellyfish. This one is called Dip. It's also beautiful. And then this pinky shade is Malibu. Honestly, one of these two. Hmm. I think I'm going to try Jellyfish, which I think is just the clear one. It has a little bit of a tint, but I kind of like the color that I have on the lips with just the lip liner. So I'm just going to apply this on top. Okay, it's definitely a thicker formula than what I thought it would be, but it's not sticky. It's kind of hard to explain that way. I'm really liking how it's building up as well. Mm, it feels comfortable on the lips, but you also definitely feel it on the lips. It's not sticky, but it's stickier than other lip oil products I've tried. I'm just trying to describe it to you guys. It's really nice though, and I think it looks so nice on top of that lip liner. Oh my gosh, I really like it. I tend to do this with glosses. I tend to apply too much in the center and it gloops together. So I'm just kind of patting out some of the product in the center of my lips so it doesn't stick completely. This is everything that I envisioned in my head when I was trying to figure out what video I wanted to film. This look is coming together exactly how I wanted it to, which I'm really happy about. So let's step back and assess the situation. I'm gonna add a little more bronzer with what's left on the brush. But honestly, I don't mind that this is like a lighter bronzer type of a look. I think it matches the vibe I'm going for, which is frostbitten, <laughs> not quite sun-kissed. And then I'm gonna put a little more blush onto the higher points of the cheeks, just with what's left on the brush. Everything else I'm really happy with. Now I'm wanting to use a setting spray. I guess, you know what? I'll just use my Charlotte Tilbury one since that's what I used on the brushes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz the face with this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna cover up the mascara just so that I get a good idea of how the mascara wears without a setting spray involved, if that makes sense. Just gonna spritz that on one side. And then the other side, use my mirror to fan it off. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and just press everything down one more time. And then I'm gonna go back into my Pixi Natural Brow Duo and use this brow gel that I'm obsessed with already. This made my brows stay exactly in place when I wore it last, so I'm really excited about it. I'm just gonna run this through the brows to lock them down. I'm just gonna take my hair clips out. All right, you guys, so that completes this makeup look. It's exactly what I was hoping that it would turn out to be. I wanted that freshness in the skin, but also a little bit of glamor with the eyes. And I love how the lip combo turned out. So out of everything that was new that I tried today, I am definitely the most excited about the Bodyography pigments, which is what I was the most excited about coming into this. Oh my gosh, you know what? I forgot to put on the Jones Road Miracle Balm. So this is another product that I've been testing out over the past couple of days. And I basically only use it on the high points of my face. This is the shade O Natural. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on top of my highlighter. I'm just gonna kind of melt a bit of that onto the back of my hand and then press that just on the very, very high points of the face for a little bit of that extra gloss to the skin. I don't know if you can really see that. I've been really liking it actually. It's supposed to be something that you can use all over the face, but I honestly haven't tried it like that yet. So far I have preferred to just use it as like a balmy type highlighter. Okay, back to talking about the other products. I feel like now my skin looks even more glossy. Um, but yeah, the Bodyography glitter pigments I'm super excited about. When it comes to the Winky Luxe products, I thought the bronzer was really nice. I'm excited to keep using this. I liked how it gave my skin some glow and a little bit of like a healthy undertone, but it's not too overpowering. So I felt like for this specific look especially, it worked really, really nicely. The diamond powder, I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on this. I don't know if it was the combo of this and the concealer, or what that kind of made it look like it bunched up and got a little cakey. Well, right now it's starting to look like it's melting. I don't know. I'm gonna have to keep wearing this and testing it out. I'll get back to you guys on it. I like the idea of it and there's something that I do like about it because I like how my complexion looks, but up close, I'm not sure if it was just the combo of products or what that wasn't 
as flawless as I was hoping for. So I'll get back to you guys on that later. The Kosas lip oil, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this, you guys. I can see myself wearing this combo for a long, long time. I just love the texture that this gives on the lips and on top of this NYX Nude Suede Shoes lip liner, they just meshed so well together. I'm very excited about it. Also, I'm pleasantly surprised at the Jones Road Mascara. Again, check the description box for a note on how this wears. Hopefully it doesn't smudge or flake on me, um, but obviously we will have to see. Overall, I love how my makeup looks. Also, I'm excited about the NYX High Glass Face Primer as well. The Say Slip Cover Tinted Moisturizer. I definitely feel like I'm wearing more concealer on my complexion than this today, but so far so good on this. I feel like it'll definitely be something that once my skin clears up again, I will be reaching for a little more, um, but I did really like how it looks on the skin today. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try out some of the stuff that I've recently bought or that was sent to me. Just basically stuff that I'm really excited about right now. And I love how my makeup turned out today. So that's always a plus. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it from me today. Hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!